Hello again. Is Simon Webb now watching SJJ's videos and rehashing the content for his channel? Look, look here, two hours ago, how Britain became addicted to immigration in fields as varied as agriculture and higher education. Well, I put out this exact same video, except more dumbed down, and I spent five times as long trying to fumble through my idea. Here, migration isn't all a nefarious plot. And, I mean, he even uses the phrase, it's not a mysterious plot. There you can see one way in which Britain is addicted to immigration. There is no mysterious plot. I mean, come on, call me crazy. He even uses that phrase as well as Kalergi. Whenever I hear theories such as the Great Replacement or the Kalergi Plan. I mean, call me crazy, dude, call me crazy anyway. It's really got my spider senses tingling. Is Simon Webb now what? now a viewer of the SJJ channel. Feel free to take all my great ideas, Simon. It's okay with me, dude. It's okay. Um, but look, yesterday I did do this video, Migration is on the Ferris Plot, and to be honest, I might as well have slit the throat of a cute puppy live rather than make this video. But I was simply trying to point out that we need to be intelligent about this migration issue if we are ever going to solve it. And that involves accepting that there are these economic incentives to it. Otherwise, we can't ever fix them. So, and, and also accept the fact that somebody in office who isn't a white nationalist, like Rishi Sunak or Boris Johnson or whoever comes next, are going to be under the pressure of of these economic forces in the country, such as business and or, you know, the various lobbies, lobbyists of sectors of the economy, who especially during an economic downturn are going to be pressuring the, the Chancellor and the Prime Minister and the Home Office to say, don't you dare turn off the, the spigot. Don't you dare turn off those taps. You're going to negatively impact the economy. And these are going to be legitimate reasons as to why they're going to be reluctant to do it and we need to understand this and and forward the the opposite case in a better and more intelligent way if we're ever going to solve this issue that's the only thing i was trying to say anyway i'll try and i'll try and put my arguments across in a more intelligent way in the future i suppose but look the question remains then is Simon Webb secretly now an SJJ viewer? Because I did make that parody video of him, so he might be. Or is it just a coincidence? A weird coincidence? Or are we both, in fact, working for MI5?